Here we have our official first look at the Everglades Boats 455cc. This is the new flagship from the company and the main focal point in this area here of the boat show. So this has 425 XTOs that push it upwards of 60 miles an hour, has a 13.3 beam, holds 683 gallons of fuel. Let's come inside and take a look. So we got live wells, port and starboard, 50 gallons a piece. Got a fish box back here with optional chill plates. You have cool little options like this right here, which is sink, wet bar, but they do something a little extra. They add this feature to add some storage within there and actually put this at your comfort, at your comfort height, whatever that may be. You can take a peek, blue gel coat in that. Live well, 50 gallons a piece. Now, this boat, you can fish this thing all day long, but when you want to get comfortable, bring the family aboard, check this out. Pull these seats out. I won't take them all out, but look how comfortable this is here. You can fit 12 people along this thing. Again, 13, three beam, plenty of room. And then when you want to get down and dirty, do some fishing, pop those things out and you're good to go. Pop this open here. Ugh. These boats come standard with Sea Keeper 6 and Fisher, Fisher Panda generator. Great access here to your bilge. Huge space, easy to get to everything. Do the work you need to do. Get back out on the water. Now right here to my left, one thing you're gonna notice is the Release Marine rocket launcher. The teak accents you're gonna see throughout the boat. We'll make our way there, but these are absolutely beautiful. You do your fishing, you have your mezzanine seat right here, all air conditioned, which you can control right underneath. And actually, with a touch of a button, the shade actually retracts right into the hard top so you can cruise, run offshore, do your serious fishing, but you have that option there, which is absolutely tremendous. You have a foot rest just for additional comfort that can tuck away. And then this is all chill plated as well. You don't even need to bring ice on this boat. Let's work our way up here. Now we have tackle, both port and starboard on the leaning post. And this is actually the first Everglades to offer in-deck boxes. So it's not a large one, but they have a special system within their hull that they decided they'd rather sacrifice the deck boxes to improve the performance of the boat and that's something that everyone that stepped on an Everglades has told us this thing plows through waves like nothing else. JL Audio M6 speaker line you're going to see the top of the line system throughout rod holders all the way through underneath the cap you got a starboard side door over here oh my lord let me get this thing out of my way that's why you want to tuck this thing out when you're not using it and then you got your port side door you can see how it's gasketed with this little indention here so it's completely watertight Hinges, hinges are tucked away nicely. And then this piece, once it tops over, offers you some cup holders. And then when you drop it down, you got your combing bolster clean all the way around. We'll leave this open. You have fuel fills on both sides to the single 683 gallon fuel tank. So no matter which side of the dock you're on, you can fill, you don't have to spin the boat or deal with any of that. We're gonna come back to this area because they're showing the boat. Let's take a look at the console cabin space here. So you have a nice galley right here, refrigerator, sink, nice woodwork, microwave. You got a king size berth here in the bow and then actually a TV right behind that. You have a secret compartment that pulls out at a touch of a button. We won't mess with it now, but you can store luggage, clothes, things like that. You get natural light through the windows that you have here in the side of the console and it's a real nice space, tons of headroom as you can see here. You got the private head and separate shower. So it has its own enclosure so you're not getting everything wet in that bathroom. They call this thing the battleship side console door. Check out that hinge system. Super heavy duty, this pops in there so when this thing seals it's airtight, watertight basically soundproofs completely so you can't even hear what's going on out here when you're sleeping inside there. Up to the bow, you can see that that 13.3 beam works its way pretty far up here. This is a wide bow area. Looks very large. You got three 
Very comfortable lounger seats here. Cooler up in the bow so you don't have to be going all the way back to grab your drinks. Large box up here. Forward seating, single touch, which is really nice. That, those are all insulated as well. This actually drops down into the deck if you want to get it out of the way. It can slide forward if you want to use it as a casting platform for a cast net or to just jump in and out of the boat, deal with your anchor, or you can raise it up and slide it back to have it as a dining option. So three different options there, really nice. Again, release marine backrest, teak details, JL Audio speakers everywhere, subwoofer down there, some rod holders here. Forgot what they call this, phone charger. This windshield right here actually drops all the way down. If you decide you wanna get you know, some of that cool breeze, depending where you're at, you can drop this down and get that breeze through there or raise it all the way up and get yourself out of the elements. Underneath all of this whole liner area, we actually added a ton of storage for your dock lines. You can never have too much storage, so that's a great option. Let's pop in real quick here and just take a look at the helm area. You got your Garmin MFDs tucked away, flush mounted here. You got a bow thruster. You got your joystick, all air conditioned, EC3 carbon fiber Edson steering wheel. These boats all come standard with a zip wake trim tabs. So everything's integrated into this system as well. As you can see, you hit docking lights and they actually turn on, turn off for you. You can get into, you know, you got your horn here, lights, interior fishing options, you can turn all your spreaders on at one point, your bait well pumps, work everything right through here, which is extremely comfortable. There's the windshield option dropping down, which you do at a touch of a button right here. Cool little detail. Again, up here you have some lighting options, your fusion head unit, your sea keeper head unit. Very comfortable, and then something they have here also you got more phone chargers, cup holders, all the things you need, your air vents. And then if you need an extra boost here, even though this is elevated, you have this that can hold up to 600 pounds. And now that you saw that, let me show you this. This actually goes in and clips in place. So now once you clip it and you're actually running, this thing can hold 600 pounds. I did that on purpose just to show you guys. Uh, <laughs> so this gives you, you know, tremendous height. If you're five feet tall, you, you really don't need this. Um, the zip wakes actually do a lot of the work for you when the boat is getting up on plane with the, these big boats. One of the most difficult parts is that bow rise to keep the bow down to safely navigate without, you know, having that bow up in the air. This boat apparently does not do that. Zip wakes trim down, keep the boat, the boat, the, the bow down, and then adjust on their own to keep it simple for you. These release marine chairs as well rotate. So if you're drifting some baits, fueling up. You can turn this around and spin it all the way back if you wanna have a conversation right here in this area. So small little features, but things that are very useful when you're out in the water and you say, man, I wish I had that on my boat. So all in all, I think we hit just about everything here. You got more storage under here. I could probably, you got nine batteries on this boat. I can go on and on and on, but, oh, look at that. Just notice you got some more Gar Garmin MFDs up here. And real quick, before we finish it off, let's jump up to the second station. Now this is actually, you wanna give me that? Let's just try to make it up. This is the largest collapsible second station that Everglades has done before. And if you've seen some of their other boats, you've seen how easy it is to actually collapse this down if you need it. So this thing has a great vantage point for you. You got your Garmin open ray radar, Again, you got your bow thruster, joystick, throttle, zip wakes, VHF, another EC3 right here. Some storage space, you can tuck your phone away, another phone charger. And then, this is a really big boat, but they kept this to the perfect size where you can push this back and you're sitting comfortably here. And look back, if you have anglers fishing, great visibility for docking, just a really nice setup all the way around here. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a 455 by Everglades, the new flagship, and this was one we really wanted to see here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Any questions you have, drop them in the comments. We'll answer them the best we can, and if we don't know the answers, we'll 
come to the experts and make sure we get those answered for you. But we hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and we'll be doing much more of this here at Center Consoles Only. My name is Alan, and thank you guys very much. Thank you.